And uh, I mean, at the moment, because you mentioned about the fight, the fighting and um, mm. uh, the, the decimation of, of the sport, if you like. I mean, that's still going on. Uh, there's mm. there's very, very few opportunities for fighters now. And uh, there, there, are, there are a smattering of promotions um, in Phuket mainly, and, and some in Bangkok, in fairness. Um, but that's not going to derive anybody a lot of income. No. It's just, I mean, it's difficult anyway, as, I, as I've illustrated in the book. And, and, yeah. and I will reiterate here that... that my experience is of the Muay Thai business in Thailand. So, so that uh, all, all my analysis and my thoughts and stuff in the book is about the Muay Thai business in Thailand. And I did um, in the book. There's a whole chapter on fight promotions, and I, I broke broke that down and yeah. um, illustrated how difficult it is for businesses and for fighters alike. It's it's, it's a very very difficult way of yeah. making a living. I found that fascinating because that's a side of it. We, as people coming out to train in Thailand or even fight in Thailand, we don't understand. We don't appreciate. Understand. And that yeah. was that was a real like, okay, so this is how I'm seen when I come to a gym. I mean, this is how the gyms are having to survive. Um, yeah. I'm coming in with my rose tinted glasses as to what I want out of this experience. Yeah. But of course, the gym is trying to function and I'm plugging into that. And I thought it was really yeah. good that you were you were highlighting, you classified kind of two, two setups, a traditional gym, which is how most of us see the gyms in Thailand, where it's the, yeah. the model is fight purses. This is how they survive a fight purse and mostly the gambling. And yeah. if, if you're not, if you're not traveling to a gym and contributing in that way, then that's not how you're going to be seen or treated. And then the other aspect yeah. or the other model, if you like, was the, the commercial gym, which is how things are kind of yeah. evolving a bit more. And it sounds like they're the ones that are going to survive the pandemic to, to a greater extent. And they're the ones that yeah. are customer focused. Um, yeah. And that's how most Westerns have seen, regardless of how we see ourselves when we go out there, we're not seen really as fighters. Um, we're seen more as customers and it's what is the business model and which one's going to suit me better as a visitor? Yeah. Because, because I think, and, and maybe I, I perhaps didn't, um, stress this enough in the book, but but without a solid business foundation, we don't have Muay Thai. You, you have yeah. to have um, uh, you have to have the gyms to support the fighters. And if the gyms can't survive, if the gyms can't become more commercialized so that they're able to survive, then there's no place for fighters. Thanks for listening. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe and share with someone else it could help too. Please give the podcast a review or comment below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles and guides. Catch you next time.